Well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the chair. I'm sorry, what? Sir, you're gonna have to be a bit louder. I can't hear a word you're saying. Oh, I see the problem. You got a little bit of duct tape on your mouth. Here, let me uh, help you with that. Don't you dare use that word in my presence, you little bitch. I think you misunderstand the purpose of those cables. What do you want with me? Quit shouting. Some people are still sleeping. All I, I want is some information, Kevin. How do you know my name? Who are you? My name's Bob. Nice to meet you. I was hoping to get you on a good day, but it seems you're a bit... tied up? <laughs> oh, come on. That was funny. And besides, I believe I'm the one asking the questions here. My boss told me to f find you and get me to figure out where the hell you put his money. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Was I unclear? I, 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 because I, I enunciated the fuck out of that sentence. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course you do. Big Papa told you to deliver three grand to Delgado. But then you took the money and hit it God knows where, so now I have to figure out the exact location. What? Okay, I know I hit you in the head and all, but I know you ain't that stupid. Look, I have no idea about the money. I seriously have no idea what you're talking about right now. Look, I get it, Kevin. You want to make some extra money. We all do. We work hard at what we do. We do our jobs with honor. And for you to defile and disgrace our names with your stupid ass decisions not only offends our organization, not Big Papa, but me as well. You've seriously offended me, Kevin. I, I think I'm getting a tear. I know you're sorry and everything, and I will gladly accept your apology after you tell us WHERE YOU HID THE GODDAMN MONEY! What the hell are you talking about? I've never seen you before in my life! Nor are you. Don't make it complicated, just don't. It won't be pretty if it ends up that way. Please, just just let me go. I have a girlfriend back home, and she's probably so worried she called the police. We know you don't have a girlfriend, Kevin. What girl would date a guy with a broken nose? What broken... <clears throat> Damn it. Why would you do that? It's what happens when you don't cooperate, Kevin. Keep it up, and you may lose some of your favorite teeth. Now you're gonna tell me where you hid the goddamn money. I'll give you a minute to think about it, sweetheart. Yeah? Did he tell you? No, not yet. But I almost got him, I swear. That's what you said last time, and look how you fucked that up! So what's a few severed limbs? It's not like we haven't done worse. Besides, this time's different, Papa. He's real, he's real panicky and all. Any minute now, he'll crack and tell me what we need to know. And if he doesn't, well, we have a hacksaw for a reason, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to call you back. Okay, now why don't you just get right back into that seat? <laughs> don't even think about it, Kevin. Oh, you know what? On second thought, go ahead, pick up the gun. I dare you, I double dare you, pick up the gun. Are you serious? Did you actually just reach the gun when I have a cocked gun aiming at you? Are you serious? Are you really that stupid? Dude, what would possess you to try to reach for a gun with me aiming one at you? Come on. Look man, I don't know what you've been talking about. I don't know who Big Papa is. I just want to go home to my girlfriend, okay? I don't know- How stupid do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answer.
Yeah. Did he tell you where it is? He would, but he's dead. Are you freaking kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. He almost escaped, I'm sorry. How was I supposed to know that Matthewson- Matthewson? Who the hell is Matthewson? The one that stole the money, remember? I said Masterson, you stupid prick. Wait, wait you said Matthewson. Whoa, 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 ass bite. Are you calling me a liar? No, 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 of course not. I'm a- I don't care how sorry you are, bitch. After you get rid of the body, you're done. Don't even freaking think about coming back. Your history. Done. Gone. Damn it! Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her feet.